Welcome to another video of ClickView presented by Bharti DW Consultancy Services. In this video, we are going to see how to create a variable based slider which change or which can interact with a with a chart. So on the screen you have a chart which is organized by the sales amount for a customer and there are a lot many customers. As an analysis perspective, I want to create only top 10 customers to be appearing on the chart. In order to do that, right click the chart, click on properties and go to dimension limits in the dimension limits limits change box restrict which values you say show only largest 10 values and click on ok you can see here it's it shows you 10 values Koshik and Hulk Hogan Mustak Ahmed these are the values. I don't want this others tab. So I click on properties and in the dimension limit section, I uncheck show others. Click OK. And these are my top 10 customers. I want to make it dynamic. So for doing that, I will create a variable under settings variable overview and here I click on at here I will mention top n is my variable name and you can see here v top n variable appearing click on ok so that you can go back to the sheet right click again go to the properties and instead of say top 10 click on this box here go to the variables in the expressions search your variable Open and paste. You can see here it says V top V top N and click on apply. Click on OK. So currently we don't have any value set for V top N. That's why it's just appearing for one customer. Next, I am going to create a slider. This is an item for slider and on this slider I click on variables and say my variable to be linked with this slider object is our v top n. I repeat once again. So in the settings when I created the variables v top n and I hit OK. I came back in the properties and I clicked on V top N in the in this box. And then I need to create a slider variable so that I can manage the value of the slider. So I go in the slider option, new slider calendar object, click on variables and set the variable as top n in the min value i can say minimum 2 i need at least 2 and maximum 10 or maybe 12 and i can make a static step that means i need a continuation of 2 3 4, four 5 6 going an integer with a step of 1 so minimum value 2 maximum value 12 and the static step of 1 and see how the slider looks like now. 
So a slider, this slider has, I can move the slider around like this. Make it. Now see here, I click on this, it's 3. So my chart changes to 3. 4, 5, 6, and in the same fashion, I can move it backwards. I can slide it over the value I would like, and it's gonna show me the customers. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can, you can control this, you can control the same thing by an input box as well. Right click, new sheet object and input box. In the input back box you can add top n and click on OK. So I can see here 4 and 4. So if you look at this, this input box variable is controlled and the slider also moves the same fashion. So 8 here, 8 here. If I make it 9 here, it will convert 9 here. So everything as in click view, you know that in click view everything is associative. That's why it is, it is changing. I hope you, you enjoyed it. Please visit me on Bharti DW Consultancy dot blogspot dot com for details thank you happy thing